Hey, real quick, I just want to say sorry for the delay. Here's the video for today, and uh, yeah, let's get to training. Welcome back, everybody. So, in our last video, we went over the grassroots of kinesthetic awareness, where we worked on your posture and you understanding how your body aligns and when it's straight based off of you finding something that's erect, which would be a wall. Okay, I like to use a lot of things that are natural around to train. I don't believe in lifting weights until you pretty much can control yourself. We're gonna jump into this video today. All you need is a wall, and some of you may sweat, so get a towel handy. And remember, according to whatever wall you're using, you may wanna wear gloves in case you have sweaty palms, and you don't wanna really dirty up or scar up the wall. Okay, let's get started. Movement, the movement, the movement. Okay, so uh, forgive me if the mic does sound a little distorted, I am getting used to it as well as the controls on how to control the vocals. Okay, but we're going to keep this lesson going no matter what, I gotta post, whether I like it or not, but yo, bear with me because we're gonna keep this going. Okay, so moving forward from the grassroots kinesthetic awareness. Now, I'm gonna say building kinesthetic awareness never changes. Everything that you do lines up with kinesthetic awareness and remember that kinesthetic awareness is your personal space and what you do in the midst of occupying said personal space whether you move in it or stand in it be aware of yourself and everything that you're doing and you want to make every action intentional which also means on purpose if you're young okay uh, so now we went into you pressing against the wall keeping your back straight now it's time to step away from the wall but still stay connected so let's dive into this. So you started out with you press against the wall, toes against the wall, and back stay straight. From here, you should have worked on your posture. When you're doing this, moving away from the wall, you want to take your feet, and this is going to be the perfect distance to start. You'll take one foot. I'm going to start with my left because it's closest to the camera right now. And you want to slide it where your longest toe is basically right at your heel. Okay, and this is a good step back. Then you're going to take the other foot, and you'll meet it. And then you can practice coming into like that. Okay, now if you're going to do it this close, I'm going to give you a timer. So if you're going to do it this close, you want to be able to hold this position, and I'm stretching through my shoulders. I'm not going to use too many technical terms with y'all. So I'm stretching through my shoulders, back staying straight, and you want to hold this for a grand total of five times for two minutes. You really want to be able to build up to five. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you're extremely strong, you definitely train, and let's just move this on and start to actually move with it. Grassroots, you want to do timer, beginner, you can start to move. Okay, then you repeat the exact same process. I like to make sure I'm even on both sides, so now I'll move the right since you already saw me do it on the left. Bam, to where the heel is, and then you're going to slide it back more. From right here, I want you to notice my elbows. I'm going to bend my elbows down. When I'm bending my elbows down, I'm pressing my, the heel of my palm into the wall so that I don't go slapoosh. Okay? So, heel of the palm goes into the wall, and I start to lean, bringing my face a little bit closer to the wall. I don't want to be touching the wall, but come close to it. From here, you want to hold, and then you're going to push it back. You're going to do that, ooh, a grand total of 10 times. This is that moment where I'm not gonna say, get ready. With you leaning against the wall, we're gonna go down for a grand total of 10 times. But you gotta do it at my pace, and I want you to remember this pace. Here we go, set, down. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze your stomach as you push yourself away from the wall. Hold, coming back down. Hold, five, four, Three, two, one. Squeeze your stomach as you push yourself away from the wall. That was only two, do not give up on me. Here we go. Holding, coming down. Hold, five, four, three, two, one. That was three, squeeze that stomach as you push away from the wall. Now, while you're doing this, still focusing on your kinesthetic awareness, going down. You want to focus on your breathing as well. Hold, five, Four, three, two, one. That was four. As you go down, you want to take a deep breath in. As you come back up, you're going to let the air out. Allow that force of the air going out, down. 
hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Allow that force of the air coming out to make it easier for you to come right back up. Going down again. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Pushing up. Don't forget to breathe. Notice, are your legs engaged? Did you keep your legs together? Did one leg get loose and the other one stayed straight? Down. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Some of you might be feeling a burn in your wrist. Some of you might be feeling a burn in your triceps. Down. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Don't forget to breathe. Are you forgetting to breathe? Down. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it out. This is that last one. Really make it count. Do. Not. Give. Down. Up. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Straighten out. Walk your feet back to the wall. Remove your hands off the wall, bring them straight down, and then turn around. The way you come off the wall is just as important as the way you go onto the wall and you set yourself up for the training regimen for the day. All right, so that was the video for today. Just a brief recap as you were doing this. Uh, but I mean, you, you, your level of involvement is what you do. D. Okay, so now at the beginner level, you wanna take two steps back, making sure your feet are even, and then you wanna lean in. As you lean in, you don't wanna rush it. You saw me, you saw how I did it. You don't wanna rush into it. You wanna ease yourself into it. Feel your arms, and what I normally see when people are doing something is their elbows go out that way. You want to feel your arms actually bent in this way because your body can naturally do it. So bring yourself in slowly, hold for that slow count of five, and then push it back. So you, you want to hold that, you want to stretch your through your calves, keeping your legs tight, the exact same thing I had you do when you were pressed against the wall. You're going to keep that same posture as you lean into the wall and you push yourself back. Now as you push yourself back, tighten your stomach whether you feel you need to or not. Breath control is also important. You want to breathe in as you go in and you want to breathe out as you push away from the wall. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to move, a lot easier for you to control your body. So that was the video for today. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So do not forget to like the video so I know I reached you. Comment so I can engage you. And how did you like the audio? Like I'm really working people, I'm really working, okay? And subscribe to the channel so you get updated on every video I post. What? And while you're sitting here training, I want you to develop your own personal physical fitness goal. And together we can achieve it. But first, write it down in the comments below so I know what it is. Movement, the movement, the movement.